let's take a look at how to create a service schedule and the related service sessions, service participants, and service deliveries. We know that service schedules represent either one-time or recurring events, so we'll create a service schedule to represent the Wednesday financial coaching class that we are offering. We can create a new service schedule either from the service schedules tab or from the service record. Let's go ahead and click new on the service schedules related list on the financial coaching service record we just created. First, let's give our service schedule a name. We'll call ours Financial Coaching Class 101, Wednesdays, 6 to 8 p.m. Because we're creating the schedule from the Financial Coaching Service Record, the service information is already filled out for us. If it wasn't, we would add it here. If we have service providers, such as a teacher for this class, we can enter their names. Because our sessions can host up to 10 people, we set the participant capacity at 10. This is for the internal planning and will not limit the number of participants we can add. As the class is two hours long, we will update the default service quantity to two because we want this to automatically populate two hours for all service participants when we take attendance. We can override this number if needed when we take attendance. We know our sessions start on January 8th and that it runs weekly on Wednesdays for 12 weeks. We set our first session start and first session end information, dates and times, which is two hours for the same date. We will also fill in the frequency information, weekly, every one week, or Wednesdays for 12 weeks. We can either select the radio button on and pick the service schedule end date, 12th Wednesday, or after if we want a particular number of service sessions, 12, and our schedule is ready to go. A record will be created for each session in the schedule, unless we deselect Create Service Sessions here now. We want to create them. This will save us a lot of time, so we leave that checked and click Next. Now we are on the Review Service Session screen, and here we can delete or add sessions as needed. For example, we know the March 12th session will be canceled, and so we click the X on that row to delete it. When we are happy with the sessions in the list, we click Next. At this point, we are on the Add Service Participants screen, where we can add participants that are related to the program. Here we will be able to select any participants that already created a program engagement for this program. If we've created program cohorts, we can also filter participants by cohort. If we do not find an intended participant, that means they are not a part of the program yet. No worries, we can add them on the fly by clicking New button next to Can't Find the Right Participant. We can create the program engagement for an existing contact or even add a new contact right here. If we're not yet ready to add participants, we can do that later. In our case, we're ready, so we select our participants, click Add or Add All, and now we have our selected participants displayed in a list. We click Next to continue. We are in the home stretch here at the final review service schedule screen. Here we review the schedule, participants, and sessions one last time. Everything looks good. Click Save Now. We see our service schedule with the related service sessions and service participants have been created. We see our service sessions, which each represent a single instance of a service schedule. In this case, 8th January Financial Coaching Class 101 from 6 to 8 p.m. is a service session. When we click into the service session, we can also see our service participants in the track attendance area, which represents each person's interaction with that service session. This is also where we can update and submit attendance for a session, which creates service deliveries for those participants. The attendance summary field shows how much of the class attended. That field is updated in an overnight batch. For more information about setup and best practices, check out the PMM documentation. Thank you for watching.